Hi guys, how you doing? It's me Sam, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to take this Mesa Boogie Mark V and put it through its paces. It's not a sponsored video, it belongs to a friend of mine, so I figured I'd mic it up and have some fun with it. Uh, it's a super versatile amp, so I'm just going to use one guitar. So here's the guitar I'm using. Alright, so this is a Strat that my friend Kyle McKerney put together. Uh, it's sort of what you'd expect from a Strat, three single coils, older body, rosewood board. Uh, yeah, so click the like and subscribe and leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what amps you would like to see me demo in the future. And let's get into it. Let me show you the rig. In the words of Capital One, what's in your closet? Uh, here we go, I've got a Victory 212 loaded with V30s and that's just an SM57 pulled back from the cab to give you that in-room kind of a feel. So here's the head, it's the 22 watt version, slightly smaller, but let me tell you what, it sure packs a punch. For this first tone I'm using the Mark II C+, everything's at noon. Okay, so for the second clip here, what I'm going to do is use the same setting, still on the Mark II C+, but I've added the EQ here to boost the mids, so let's check that out. <laughs>
moving along now, what I've done is I've moved across to the Mark IV and I'm back to a flat EQ. <laughs> So for the next one, I'm still on the Mark IV, but what I've done is I've added the EQ to scoop the mids slightly. Okay, so moving along now, I've moved across to the extreme setting. Everything is still at noon here, and my EQ is back to flat. <laughs> clip on the extreme setting. What I've done now is I've boosted the treble with the graphic EQ. So let's check that out. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so here's just a couple of clean tones for you. This first one, I'm just on the clean setting. Everything is flat and the EQ is also flat. Okay, so one more on the clean mode still. What I've done is I've, I've added an EQ here to boost the mids. And surprisingly, there's quite a bit of extra gain once I've boosted these mids. So let's check this out. Okay, so I've nearly negotiated all of the dip switches here, so now we're on the fat mode, everything's back to flat. Okay, last but not least, I've gone to the crunch mode and everything is still flat. So one last clip for you. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe and leave me a comment and I'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching.